Hello, good evening, Ana Patricia. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? It's fine, teacher. Uh, free? Uh, I have cold. Frío. Tengo frío. I'm cold. I'm cold. cold. Mm -hmm. yes. But fine. But okay, okay, you're fine. That's yes. great. Did you study? Yes, teacher. <laughs> That's good. What, what about Gloria? Does she have to, to work today as well? Uh, no. Oh, today, no. But uh, uh, intentar? Mm -hmm. she, she will she, try. She will try connection. Hmm. Okay, okay. And eat fish to eat fish. Okay. Let's just wait a little bit for your classmates before we do the attendance. Remember, say hello to a classmate. Hello, classmate. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Sermi. How are you? Hello, everyone. Hi, thank you. Hi, Gabriel. How are you? So far, so good. And you? Fine. Thank you. Fine, because tomorrow, and um, next Friday, is holiday. And holiday? Yes. It's okay, teacher. <laughs> tomorrow is a holiday, yes. <laughs> That's great. Okay, continue. How was your day in Assembly or everyone? Yes, my day was um, good, but I am tired. But I am happy because I complete my tasks for this day. Where do you work? Where? Yes. In KPMG. Okay, so you're an accountant. Yeah. Okay, nice. So you are an accountant. An accountant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, the profession. Yeah. In the, the is related to the accountant, but I am business administrator. Okay. Mm. Interesting. I'm a I'm a I'm a business. I'm a business administrator. I'm a, yes, this is this is me. I'm a business administrator. Good job. How long are you be there? How, How long have you? Have you been there? In twelve years. I've worked here for twelve years. Yes, I work. I've I've worked here I've, for. I've work work for 12 years i've worked here for 12 years i have worked here i work here for 12 years <laughs> yes 
Nice. Hi, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gabriel. No worries. It's okay. Hi. Good evening. How are you, Carla? I'm fine and happy because will be two days off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's the same feeling for everyone that we are going to have holidays two days. Yeah. You know, we're waiting for confirmation from InsaFor to see if we will have classes. So for now, let's just think that yes, there will be classes on on Friday. Okay. Yes, because the new teacher, the new about the new the the news. The, the news? news? Yeah, the news about the the uh, the news about the national the holiday national holiday it was late <laughs> yeah it was late but uh, that's okay i mean in the end he's right i mean i think it they should do it that every time um thursday is a holiday um for independence day specifically just for independence day not every holiday i mean wow but for independence day they should do that kind of um, law, you know, they, they should do it a temporary law. Every time we have Friday in the middle, they should give it off as well. That's a good idea. Okay. Um, antes de comenzar la clase, un, una comercial super rápido. Si conocen a alguien que hable super bien inglés, avísenme, okay? Que es lo único que se necesito. Por supuesto que ocupe una computadora también, okay? So, just a brief commercial. Y escríbanme si necesitan más información de eso, okay? But let's do the attendance. Um, today is September 14th, it's Wednesday. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. She said he's working. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Yes, good evening. Good evening, thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Okay, good. So, you know what? Let me do a general question. Um, hmm. What has been the most difficult part of your day? It's just an open question so we can break the ice. What has been the most difficult part of your day? Can somebody tell me what is the grammar tense? What's the grammar tense in this question? I should have said so far, right? Mm -hmm. What has been the most difficult part of your day so far? Present perfect. Yes, present perfect. No, you, you can use you can use uh, continuous as well, Gabriela, if you want to answer. That's right. How will you answer the question? Um. 
the most uh, difficult part of my day uh, was no had has been um, has been the negotiation of a contract. Oh, okay. Because of the contractual terms and all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The price, in fact. Oh, okay. Hmm. You work with nego negotiations, you know, with commerce? Uh, no, I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer, even better. So you work with <laughs> um, commerce negotiations, let's say. But is it a specific product or services? No, it's uh, real estate services. Real estate services, okay. Have you ever negotiated a contract for any program? A project, no. I'm sorry, any project? Uh, yes, two. Two, okay. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm advising a one that is in front of Hotel Presidente. Really? You know what happened to me recently? <laughs> Yeah. I'm just going to tell you, I was offered, Gabriel, an opportunity to go to Singapore as a, as part of the embassy of El Salvador, just because I can speak English and I have worked in the um, in administration and um, industry as well. And I had delivered trainings on e-commerce and, and things like that. But mm -hmm. the thing is that they called me and they said, you know what? we want you to go to Singapore with your wife. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then she, she was like, I mean, the person who offered me this opportunity, she was like, oh, but you have kids, right? And I was like, yeah, I have three kids. Oh no, never mind. No. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. no I'm lying. I don't have kids. Forget it. Yeah, that was wow. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it. But anyways, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, so I guess you love your job. You like your job. Yes. Yes. I've been working at the firm for eight years so far. Eight years. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. What a great experience. Yes. So, in fact, that's why I need to improve my English skills because of the clients awesome because of the clients because of the clients, clients. Mm -hmm. do it fast because of the clients because of the clients <laughs> there you go okay let's see i have a challenge for you for everybody so far we have reviewed a lot of paired conjunctions but can anybody tell me what are paired conjunctions in your own words in your own words what are paired conjunctions Maybe the words that help you to join two ideas. Okay, so uh, connectors that help you join in or join. that help you to join. What sounds better to help you, that help you to join or help you join in? Uh, two ideas. Joining. Uh huh. Always listen to yourself. What sounds better, the gerund or the infinitive? That was good. Okay, so. They help you connect into ideas or, or Walter, Rosalena, Carla, Lori, Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh -huh, Walter. Excuse me. So what, what are per conjunctions? Gabriel just gave us one idea. <laughs> it, these are connectors that go in pairs that help you connect in two ideas. Okay. Is it just connecting to ideas or what else do they do? What yeah. else do they do? Conjunction help us help us to to choose alternatives, I think. To choose, I'm sorry? Alternatives. Alternatives yeah, as or, well. Yeah, alternatives or um, um, discuss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they give uh, okay, that's another one. So yeah. They connect to ideas. They give us alternatives, options. And there's one more. There's still one more. 
Explain something. Okay, yeah, explain. They give yeah. more information. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> they give more information. That's right. Okay, so remembering the um, different pair conjunctions we have seen, I'll make you some questions. Um, I, I, I don't know if you had started the article that I sent you, but anyways, the first question, and you need to give me the answer with paired conjunctions, okay? So the first one is on your chat here in Zoom. You like tennis. Do you like golf? You can type the answer on the chat if you want as well, or just say it. Do you like tennis? Do you like golf? I think that is easy for me. <laughs> I I like both tennis and what? And golf. <laughs> yeah. I like yes. both tennis and golf. Excellent. <laughs> I like tennis. I mean, I like both. Both tennis. Both. And golf. Okay. Tennis and golf. Now, in this the case, way, both. I like tennis and golf yeah yeah now in this case i want to take advantage and give you another idea you can always open a sentence with an expression okay for example in fact okay i like yeah. tennis I, I, in fact i like both tennis and golf in fact okay I like tennis. No. I like mm -hmm. both. What was it? I'm sorry. In fact, both. I like tennis and golf. Yes. Okay. Is there another way to answer, like using another per conjunction that we may have seen? Uh, could be, in fact, I like not also. Not only, sorry, uh, tennis, but also golf. Okay. Not only tennis, but also golf. Okay. What other expression could we use other than, in fact, a similar one as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, not only tennis, but also golf. Hold on. As a matter of fact, not only I like tennis, but also golf. So always try to open your sentences with um, these sort of uh, expressions. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me think. Mm -hmm. And I say, really? Mm, it depends on the scenario, but here you can say, really? Really? Mm -hmm. I like both. Or mm -hmm. you could say, Rosa, mm -hmm. mm, in reality, in reality, um, nah. No, no, no. To be honest, to be honest, hmm? what? <laughs> actually, actually, that's another way. Yeah, actually, I'm a coach potato. You know. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> I'm a couch. I'm sorry. I'm a couch potato. Um, um, neither I like tennis nor golf. I don't do sports. <laughs> I like to watch them. Okay, let's go with the next question. You don't know Jane. Do you know Jack? Remember, there are different options you have, not just not only, but also both. And you can use neither, nor, either, or. Think about it. Think about it for a second. In fact, I know both. Okay, you know Jane, do you know Jack? In fact, 
I know both. Mm. No? Yeah. In fact, mm. I, I know both. Oh, no, you don't know Jane. You I don't, don't know. I know them. I, I know both. Uh, Jane. You don't know Jane. And Jack. No. Jane and Jack. In fact, I know both. Jane and Jack. I know them both. I will say I know them both. That's like very natural, but grammat grammatically, this is the way we've learned. We've learned. I'm using a lot of present perfect with you. Pay attention, okay? <laughs> to the pronunciation, try to review the videos and try to mimic, mimic. Whenever I do that, I would have said, um, okay, in fact, I know them both. I know both, Jane and Jack. Uh-huh, another way of answering, what if you want to neglect? What if you want to neglect? You don't know neither Jane or Jack. How do you neglect? How do you neglect knowing people? Knowing them. How do you make that a negative? Come on, guys. Exactly, you say neither. I know Jack, nor, what's the other one? Jane, or vice versa, right? Neither I know Jack nor Jane. Now, I couldn't, I couldn't answer this question with either or, hmm, right? Unless, and I want to be very empathetic, like either I know Jack and not Jane, or I know <laughs> Jane and not okay and not Jack. <laughs> That's crazy. Either I know Jack and not Jane, or I know Jane and not Jack. Does that make sense? ¿Tiene sentido eso? Ya lo has hecho, es seguro, ¿verdad? O conozco a Jack y no a Jane, o conozco a Jane y no a Jack. I, I can't remember. Okay. One more. Okay. Somebody else, come on, Walter, Carla, Gloria, Ada, come on, Nelson. Oh, Nelson is working. Adriana is studying. Pamela is on the bus, I think. Ophelia. Gabriela is too quiet. Wendy, Laura, Sandra, Edwin. Okay, so you're studying math. Are you studying English? Come on, come on. Bien, en que cae otorga. Me están dando la impresión de que estamos algo perdidos con el tema o no queremos participar y qué pereza. Let's see. This is the question. You're studying math. Are you studying English? So we're using per conjunctions to answer these small questions. Teacher, I am confused related to the always either the conjunction pair is or exactly and neither the conjunction pair is nor nor 
always uh, the con the conjunction okay so we're we're studying paired conjunctions so the paired conjunction of either is or okay the paired either con the or, paired yes. uh -huh, the paired conjunction of neither is no. nor and we use them to 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 neglect to say no to make a negative sentence um and neither <laughs> This is my confusion. So when I most use either is because the, the sentence is affirmative. It's affirmative, it's, it's between two options. Yes, I'm sorry. You're giving options or you are given options. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Neither math nor English. I'm studying French. Good, Gabriel. Yes, Gabriela. Not only I study math, but also I study English. Perfect. That's what I'm expecting. Not only, but also. And, and look at this, um, Anna. Here you're saying uh, the paired conjunction of not only is but also. Okay. What other one have we talked about? And both and both end, right? Both end. The paired conjunction of both is end. Okay. Uh -huh. My confusion in this example, the math, the, the subject, the math in, in English. Uh -huh. Because in in our case, we our are case. studying English, but uh -huh. not math. Not math, yeah. that's right. Now that you mention it, says Gabriel. It sounds good. Neither math nor English. I'm studying French. Oh, mm -hmm. here, here you could say something like, Gabriel, guess what? <laughs> Neither math nor English. I'm studying French. <laughs> and again, these are just opening sentences. Um, expressions that are very useful. Um, Gabriela said, not only I study math. Oh, uh -huh. not only I study math. But also, I study English. Mm, doesn't it sound better if I say not only I'm studying? This is happening currently, right? I'm studying math, but also I'm studying English. This is very interesting. Just remember, you have to respect respect the grammar tenses on both sentences. Okay. If you're using present continuous in one, you must use present continuous on the other one. Okay. Or, well, actually, not necessarily, right? Not only I'm studying math, but also I I knew um, I was studying that you have to continue with ing. I was studying English, you could say. And now I'm studying, you can continue this sentence, and now I'm studying German, for example. That's a good one. I'm studying both math and English. Perfect. I'm studying both math and English. Good, Gabriel. Okay, next one. We have to review this. This is very interesting. A very interesting way of doing this is putting hands on the job. Okay, you need to work on the weekend. Do you need to work in the evening? You need to work on the weekend. Do you need to work in the evening? Not only you need to work on the weekend, but also, but also mm -hmm. in the evening. <laughs> Not only you need to work on the weekend, but, but also, also in the evening. <laughs> okay. Let me co correct. And it's a difficult that because there isn't a structure. Where's no structure? Yeah, we saw that. Mm, but sometimes we did. How do don't you yeah, don't thing? focus. Don't focus on the structure. As long as you use them, you're okay, and you're doing it right. Not only I feel need... I feel very down with this. <laughs> No, don't say yeah, that. Yeah, it's so difficult. I don't know. <laughs> I think that it's, it's not like... difficult. You just made it. 
that only yes, need to I work think that is when you are studying math and you say, sometime in my life, I'm going to use that. <laughs> someday, uh, yeah. Someday, someday, in my life. someday in my life, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that, yeah. To work Teacher, in, in the structure of the, when you use not only, it's not, not only plus verb. Yeah, that's what I, what gets me confused as well, because uh, let's see, not only need you to work, no, no, that, that wouldn't make sense. Not only need you to work, no, on the weekend, but also, no, no, we're fine like that. One thing that I'm noticing is that we are not answering the question. You have to answer the question. So you need to work on the weekend. Do you need to work in the evening? Not only I need to work on the weekend, but also in the evening. That's correct. That's right. This is a very used phrase expression from by Americans. That's right. Not only I need to work on the weekend, but also in the evening. Okay, another one. What about neither? Neither I need to work on the weekend nor in the evening. You know, I need to work on the weekend or in the evening. Okay, that's right. One or the other. <laughs> that's redundant, but I, I've heard this before. One or the other. Either I work on the weekend or in the evening, but I must, I must do, I must do so. I need the money. You see, it's, it's like thinking that you're in a conversation and with your boss, for example, in this, ex this specific um, example, one or the other boss, either I work on the weekend or in the evening, but I must do so. I need the money. A new baby is coming. <gasps> you see, that's very natural. And yes, you will use it <laughs> someday. Okay, it's 834. We're done with the intro of this class. Okay, I, I want you to cheer up. I want you to cheer up so let's do a little conversational thing you know let's select a topic from the random questions um let's do a conversation starter shall we no yes let's do it <laughs> come on this is that i lost it hold on She'll be on your chat. Hey, uh, by the way, I have sent you a lot of things on your um, WhatsApp. Some links that I was giving to, to some of your classmates on how to improve your English. They're very good. I, I'm missing Lytics training. Some of you may know about Lytics training. Okay, sorry. So the first question, um, 
<laughs> this is funny. What do you miss most about being a kid? So I'm just going to give you an example and send you in groups to prepare for these questions, OK? These are very easy questions, but the whole point of this exercise, oh my God, hold on. The whole point of this exercise is for you to practice. All right. Okay, and just one more. <laughs> really, this is so simple, but you have to speak, okay? I will choose random people to answer these three questions. The first question, what do you miss most about being a kid? What do you miss most about being a kid? Example, what I miss most about being a kid, man, one of these days I was thinking about it and what I miss the most is just being a kid, having no responsibilities, having a lot of time to go playing around. The smell, you know what I miss about being a kid the most? Is the smells. The smells, the peace. It's just a different world, you know, playing with my friends having all the energy that I had. Oh all, my God. All energy. answers that uh, this right teacher. <laughs> yes, that, I, yeah, me too, right? Okay, so that's the first example. Second, what is your favorite hangout spot? What is your favorite hangout spot? Let me think. This is a difficult one because lately I've been to so many places. I went to Huayua recently. But to hang out, to hang out, I'm going to say picnic, uh, the picnic restaurant in um, El Boquerón. It's expensive, very expensive. But man, it's just I'm, I'm a cold weather guy. I'm a cold weather guy. So I love going on the cold weather, having a conversation with someone, just enjoying it, enjoying the weather, the food. And the good music. Last time I was there was last year, around November, and Prova de Sonido was playing. It was a coincidence. And the guy, Richard, actually, he, he posted a picture, a picture of me and my, and my wife on his blog. And that was amazing. It was a nice experience. And the last one. What did you have for dinner last night? Man, last night. Sorry, it was Tuesday. Oh, I remember. I didn't want to eat too much, you know. So I had I had a bowl, a bowl of cereal with two bananas, two bananas and um oats, oats and cereal. And of course, next week. <laughs> I love chocolate. I'm sorry. Okay, so it was supposed to be a diet thing, but yeah chocolate okay so these are simple questions guys okay can you do it yeah okay we try <laughs> we will try perfect that's the we idea you must try we are 16 nobody remains on, on this chat okay just go to your group it's going to be very small groups, so please practice the three questions and I'll bring you to the front later. Go ahead.
What do you miss most about being a kid? Um, what I most miss about being a kid, a kid is um, not work, uh, not to have responsibilities, uh, maybe the old cartoons. Uh, because I, I used to watch a lot of TV when I was a kid. Yes. Uh, gather with my friends, play soccer at the street. Um, I don't know. A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The most things that I miss uh, when I have been a kid. Oh, my God. Playing with my friends. Riding a bike, mm -hmm. playing basketball, go to the go to the go to my grandma house on vacation. Mm -hmm. Spend two months with with her. Okay. Um, I have the the responsibility that. Only being a kid, no problems, no nothing, <laughs> nothing more than being a kid. Okay. Yeah, it's there are. Oh my God, how do you say nostalgic? There are nostalgic, nostalgic. Can I say? I don't know, but yes. there are more. Yes, there are no, nostalgic moments, <laughs> but. That's only uh, there are re remembers. <laughs> okay, and Gloria, what do you Gloria? miss most being a kid? Okay, uh, what I miss uh, the most is sleeping with any problems. <laughs> Without trouble, with no problem. Yeah. No problem. Okay. So being a, an adult is. Um, Having many complications. And you? Okay. And my favorite place to have a good time is the beach. Uh, I love that place. The beach. 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 Okay. And you, Ophelia? Is is a favorite is a park. Okay. Okay. The second question, maybe. The second question is what did you have for dinner last night? Last night, teacher? Yeah. Okay. What did you have for dinner? Last night. Okay. Okay. I I did cook cook I did cook beans and uh, beans and fried banana with bread and orange juice. And you? Um, in, in last night, I had a typical dish okay. for dinner. Beans, red bananas, red, 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 and eggs. Oh, that's and fried, things. fried, I'm sorry, <laughs> fried, <laughs> fried plantains. Plantains, okay, okay. plantains. Okay. And I drink it's a coffee. I drank. I, I drank, drank coffee. Okay. What's the issue? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry now. <laughs> yeah. And you, Ophelia? Is is a a chocolate? Is no sé cómo dice fresh in English. What? Stro strawberry. Uh -huh. 
Twenty. Strawberry. Um, strawberry. Twenty. Hangout spot. Teacher hangout spot is referring to a place. A place where you like to go. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hangout spot. But hangout means that you like to go there, not to study, not to do business. It's relaxing. just relaxing. Exactly. Rest. Place the rest. A place yeah. to rest, yeah. a place to have a nice dinner with someone. Okay. Okay. I I place, I like beach, go to the beach. Beach, beach, beach. Beach, beach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I consider a place for the relax. A place to okay. relax. Yes. In your case, Gabriel, what is your favorite hangout spot? Mm, I think it's a place named Donkeys. It's a, a restaurant for Mexican food. Mm -hmm. uh, the food is delicious and the place is, is very nice. Okay. In my case, my favorite hangout spot is um, Campo Escuela in San Ignacio Chalate. It's a place. I live, in, I live um, near to the volcano. I live in Mexicanos. Oh. Uh, the formal says to, to that is uh, Las Faldas de Volcán. Okay. Uh -huh. So when I was a child, uh, I remember that I climbed the volcano and I I go up to over there and, and I see so many things over there. And actually I was my, my, my child. Uh, so and I remember that, that, that I said before, I used to play um, with Joyo, Trompo, things like uh, kids nowadays, they don't use, to, they don't play no more because technology, technology changed everything. Okay. So, yeah, but I, I remember good things when I was a child. But the most, the most, the most thing that I, that I do is I used to play soccer a lot because I like soccer. The thing that I remember yes. the most? Yes. I the, the thing that I remember the most is that I used to play soccer. Well, I mean, I, I, I still play in soccer a lot. <laughs> I remember that we played only girls, Pika. <laughs> what, what, was, what was that? Pick, pick. What do you mean? Uh -huh. What do you mean? Like only girls used to play what game floor? Mika. Oh, Mika. Uh, Mika. Mika. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you touch someone and you say Mika and, he ha and that person has the Mika and has to follow the other person to touch a game has a, a, a Mika, right? Like this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I used to play that too. Very nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking times. Yeah. Zero nice. technology. Uh, zero technology. Now, ki now kids, kids they, that doesn't know about what we used to play when we were a child. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So what was the next question, uh, Flor? It is the, what is your favorite meeting place? Oh, meeting place. Mm. For me, Zoom. <laughs> Where? Because it, it is more practice and comfort, comfortable. 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 
Comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, thank you. Actually, I don't understand the question. What, what is the question? The your favorite meeting place. What is your favorite meeting. hangout spot? Uh huh. Where Where do you like to go when you want to have fun? Just hang out with someone. Oh, okay. Um, wait. Well, uh, my favorite place is Balboa Park. That is in the in uh, Planes de Rendero. Yes. Uh, yeah. Balboa. I, Balboa. Yes. Why? Because um, there is a um. How do you say uh, cancha or? Uh, it for depends. Playing soccer. Okay, soccer field. Uh, there is a soccer field right there. So I, we, we, my family, we went over there because I play soccer, and my family and my daughters go to the, to the playground. So there is a lot of playground right there, so they spend uh, time there, and actually we have a lot of fun there. And there is a train that you can go around the, the park and you just pay 50 cents for people for each one of them. And, and, we, and the most important thing is that you, you eat a uh, typical uh, food like atoles, elote locos, <laughs> pupusas, uh, uh, very delicious. So you that's. Share, uh, mm -hmm. It's a, a, a question. Mm -hmm. The meeting place for work or, or enjoy? No, to enjoy. Hang out means um, salir a fregar. Uh, salir a fregar. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, no. Literally. Hang out with someone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to hang out with someone. Uh, hang out with someone. Okay. This is a phrase okay. of bird teacher. Hang out. Yep. Uh, it's not separable. You cannot separate it. Okay. All right. What was the next question? There's just one more, huh? What did you have for for dinner last night? What oh did my. you have for dinner last night? <laughs> That was a difficult one. <laughs> Easy. A typical diner. Oh my God. I don't remember. Actually, I think I don't, I didn't have dinner last night. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Flor? What do you have uh, for dinner last night? Um, egg, egg, beans, egg. beans, um, coffee. Coffee? You can uh, drink coffee at night? Yes. Oh my God, that killed myself. I, I died. If I, if I drink a I coffee, died. I couldn't sleep. I can't sleep. No. I uh, I like the coffee. It's better uh, a cup a uh, cup of meal, you know. It's better than coffee <laughs> because yeah, a cup of meal is like a cup of milk. Uh -huh. How do you say uh? Because you can say cup of water, right? Yeah, but it's both pretty, I mean, um, a cup of milk, a cup of coffee, a cup of water. So for me, it's better a meal than coffee because um, coffee, coffee, uh, uh, how do you say, um, me quita el sueño. It, I lose my sleep. It is my sleep. Mm -hmm. So and if I drink coffee, very, at 
yeah, it's very horrible being in the being in the bed, like moving around. You could sleep. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I, that that is wow. the, that's horrible for. That's horrible. I don't horrible. horrible. I don't know if I, if this happens to you. <laughs> No, I, I do. I can drink coffee at night. I like drink, drinking coffee at night, actually. And then you can go to sleep like, like nothing. Yeah, like nothing. Oh my god! Ooh. I wish could be like that. <laughs> I could be like that. You wish. <laughs> you wish you could be like that. How? No, you're. I'm correcting you. you. You wish you could be like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go back. All right. Oh my God. Who's okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Okay, ready to answer some questions? Let me see. Uh, some of you are still not connecting. I was looking for um, the British Consul, British Consul on Facebook, because there is a lot of vocabulary. I'll look it up later and send it to you because they used to have this great media i don't know anyways they used to have these beautiful presentations with vocabulary vocabulary that you could use but anyways i'll look it up and send it to you so question number one um gabriela alejandra gonzalez flores what's your favorite color blue Blue, Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel. It's very obvious, right? Okay, Gabriel, what do you miss most about being a kid? Uh, with my group, I was talking about that what I miss the most being a kid is uh, to watch the whole cartoons spend time with my friends, playing soccer at, at street, uh, not have responsibilities, um, only care about my grades. <laughs> um, maybe sometimes help my mother up the chores at home. And uh, I don't know, maybe miss some relatives that they are not with me now that they pass away. We're not so, with me anymore. Yeah, anymore. Exactly. so that's. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah, that's true. When you, you say, hey, great job. Uh, when you say uh, the whole cartoons, the old cartoons, I think yeah, you were trying to say. The, yeah, old, old. the old, the old. Exactly, old. Uh -huh. Make sure you do practice that. The, the old, oh, yeah. old, okay. very good. The old cartoons. Um, not having res responsibilities. Not having. When you use not like that, try to use a gerund after not. Okay. Not not working. Not speaking. Not eating. Okay. Good job. Good job. What's your favorite color, Gabriel? Uh, black. Black, that's my favorite color too. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo, nice shirt. Okay, teacher, excuse me. I, I'm Daltonic, by the way, guys, so don't worry. Okay, Walter Mauricio <laughs> Morales Araujo. Next question. What is your favorite hangout spot in El Salvador? Uh, my partner and me, and me. Yeah, oh, yes. your okay. favorite spot to go. Oh my God, for me, it's uh, at the beach. This I love in the beach. Um, 
and and the food for me is good a delicious uh, seafood i love it <laughs> okay so you love seafood Sí, yes. But what is your favorite spot like at the beach? What beach? Any beach? Ah, different. For example, La Libertad, este, Costa del Sol. Eh, no sé si conocen aquí por La Zunganera, El Pimentado. English, English. <laughs> okay, excuse me, excuse me. That's the point, that's the point. <laughs> how, do, how do you okay. say, how do you say, no sé si conocen? How you say? I don't know if you know. I don't know. <laughs> close, I close. Know. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know if you know. Hmm. You could say, not sure if you know. Not sure if you know. Okay. Not sure if you know. Okay. Estas son consideradas como expressions, guys. So. Para nuestra siguiente uh, clase, que solo Dios sabe si va a ser el lunes o, o el viernes. Hey, and, teacher, Friday is a holiday. Yeah, but we must, we must, <laughs> we must wait. We okay. must wait um, instructions my, from InsaForp. And my company is a, a, a lot of money. You, your, co your company needs a lot of money. My company is giving, yeah, a lot of money. You know what? Super yes. rápido, super rápido. El lugar en el que yo trabajo fijo, uh, lo mismo, lo mismo. Ya habían programado horas extras voluntarias para mañana y pasado. Mañana de por sí es, es um, feriado, eso ya lo tenían en el budget, en el presupuesto. Pero el viernes, otro día, feriado y con pago doble, solo les voy a dar, les, les voy a dar una idea, les voy a dar una idea súper rápido. Una hora normal cuesta alrededor de... Quiero ver. Ay, señor, se me fue la idea. Mm, como, son como cinco dólares la hora normal. El punto es de que ahora doble estaba saliendo, bueno, así ya, con doble, estaba, y una promoción que tiene de cinco dólares adicionales estaba saliendo a diez dólares la hora. Diez dólares la hora. Y ahora doble va a salir como quince dólares más o menos la hora. Mañana. Oh, coin teacher. <laughs> Is the other sign of the tortilla. That's right. Yeah, but Teacher, uh, this, this action is very difficult for the Companies. people have a uh, yes, company or for the big, small business, for example. Small and medium businesses are, will be affected. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But you know what? Nah, in the end, you know, you can get that money back. You can get that money back. Well, it all depends on your on your niche oh, yes. of, on your niche of market. If you're in the on, on the productive area of, of 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 companies, you will recover that money because a lot of inver investment is coming to El Salvador. Anyways, that's political. Let's move on. Huh. Walter, we need to practice a little bit more, okay? A little bit more, but we, we were doing very good. Uh, and that's the way you say it. Not sure if you know. Let me just have one more person answering the last question. Um, what's your favorite color, Walter? Uh, black. Black too? Really? Yes. Well, yes. Ca Carla has uh, a, a black <laughs> CPU. I think Carla has a black CPU on the back. No, I am. No, the, the CPU. Ah! <laughs> and your eyes are black. Come on, your eyes are black. So, okay. okay. Carla, <laughs> what did you have for dinner last night? Uh, my, my dinner last night was uh, beans and fries. Pla ¿Cómo dijo? <laughs> How did you say plantains? Plantain, fried plantain, cheese, and bread, and drum coffee, uh, orange juice. Orange juice? Oh, final, final sounds. Orange. Orange. Orange, orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. 
Very good. Okay. Plantains, plantains. That's the way you, you write it. Plantains. Yeah. Uh, plantain. Fried okay. plantains. How do you say huevo revuelto in English? And scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Hey, good. And how do you say huevo frito in English? Fried eggs. Eggs. Hey, good. Fried eggs. That's right. Don't say a smashed eggs or a Come on, scratch X, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a simple question, but how do you prepare scrambled eggs? Step by step. At this point, that's something that you should know. Be careful. I may ask you that question on the next class to start the class. How do you fry, how do you prepare scrambled eggs? How do you cook scrambled eggs? Okay, step by step. Mm hmm. Okay, let's do the attendance so we can move on with the topic of training. Today we have to talk about um, identifying training needs in a department. How do we do that? We will get there. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Okay. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Flor de María Carvalho Ugarte. Present. Sonic. Sonic didn't say present. Okay. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. I'm here today. Carla Verónica Vasquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Excellent. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. I'm here today. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Oh, yes, there she is, Stephanie. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. He's not here today. Ok, bien, señores, si quieren practicar más inglés, me pueden enviar un audio de no más de 30 segundos, agarrar esa, esa herramienta que les he dado de conversation starters y solo decir algo como, por ejemplo, what is your favorite actor or actress? What is your favorite actor or actress? And then you start the 30 seconds. Well, you know, my favorite actor is Tom Hanks. I love his movies. He's a great actor. He's been in my life ever since I was a kid. I remember movies like Forrest Gump, um, these movies with the, the Da Vinci Code. Um, but my favorite movie of all times is Growing, I think is the name of the movie. Big. Big. Thank you. Thank you. Big. <laughs> yes, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> that's my, my best movie of all times, you know, because when I was a kid, we went to the movies with my parents and we watched it ok entonces me envías el recording de 30 segundos y yo rápido me pongo los audífonos y ya te pongo ah, ok, ya estoy estudiando si te envío el feedback y te grabo mi voz con esas palabras en la red de oportunidad que puedes haber pronunciado mal, ¿les parece? eso no es obligación eso solo es un plus si tú quieres de verdad hacerlo Ok, no es obligación, pero si tú necesitas mejorar tu pronunciación, claro, no me pidas que ya me lo enviaste en cinco minutos, pero teacher, teacher, teacher. No, relax, relax, right? I can help you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a life too. <laughs> so, let's keep going. Tonight, we have to continue talking about training needs. 
But let me go through this a little bit quick, okay? This is purely logic, okay? Y se los digo en español rápido, no quiero que se claven con que, ay, no, que cuesta esos temas, que aburrido el avanzado. No, todo eso tiene que ser llevado a cabo por medio de pura lógica. Ok, un proceso de solución de problemas súper rápido. So let's go. Design of a training programming. programming. So how do we design? We, we talked about this before. How do you design? A training programming, but what we are going to focus on today is the identification of training needs. Of course, the, this needs an analysis from your organization. Um, what tasks you're going to analyze, okay? Or it could be human resource analysis. Why we have these different options? because these are like perspectives, okay? For example, in your job, has it ever happened that, for example, you only have two accountants, you have two accountants, but none of them, none of them have an auxiliary accountant. So the company goes like, do we need auxiliaries? We're growing, right? We're growing. so. What is the perspective we are analyzing there? The organizational perspective. Okay, the company is growing. Do we need more sellers? Do we need more accountants? Do we need more people in the set in the um, purchasing department? And then you come to task analysis. Logical, logical, okay? Task analysis, operations. Okay, what operations do we need to improve? No, mind this, mind this. We, we not only talk about the industry, you know, manufacturing a product when it comes to task analysis. No, each one of you, even if you are not an operator, a machine operator, you perform tasks, right? Uh, for example, uh, let's say Roselena is, is, I don't know, she's um, a manager and every day she used to send faxes, she used to send telegrams, okay, but now later the internet hit the market we were introduced to the internet, to the computers. And with these technologies, we had emails, no more fax, no more telegraph. So now Rosalena needs training on how to perform a task, sending emails, how to perform a task, calling, making video conferences. Oh my God knowing how to operate Zoom. We all had to train ourselves using Zoom, right? And etc. Now, human resource analysis. From the human resource perspective, that's wider. That's wider. Teacher, I don't know what's wider. Do you know what's wider? Yeah, makes sense. Human resource uh, approach or perspective is wider because it's very common, very common to have a training from human resources, right? The What did you say last time, Rosa? You said occupational health, right? Occupational health uh, training, prevention, health prevention, something like that. The government is pushing for all of us to be trained on risks at job, risk at work. And that is part of, of a content from intermediate. If you remember, I think that was intermediate. Yeah, using your Googles and all the equipment that you need to have, personal protection equipment. So that's basically it. What we're, where we are going to focus today is identify, identifying the training needs in order to set the objectives for a new training. For example, um, let's say you need to train 
the whole office on how to use Zoom. As simple as that. But teacher, everybody knows how to use Zoom. Mm -mm. Trust me, there's people who don't know how to operate a computer, how to send an email, okay? How to attach a file to an email. So you need to train them, okay? So we have identified the need, okay? Now let's set the goal, the objectives. Simple. Let's make sure everybody uses these tools efficiently. That's it. And so who is going to be, who are going to be the trainees? Who is going to be the instructor? What is the period of the training? Okay. So you organize, you schedule the training, and finally you evaluate uh, the training results, the evaluation of the training results. Let's see. So, and this is the way it goes. This is what you're going to do today. It sounds boring, but it has to be very a very logical process. So without thinking too much on the first point, understanding organizational objectives and the strategies. Strategies, strategies. What's your strategy? Strategy, strategy. Okay, so for never mind about that point. Okay, let's focus on the need assessment. What is that? What is the need of assessment? What does it? What that does that sound like? What does that sound like? Training need assessment. Anybody? No idea. I had something here. Assessment is the synonym of task, right? Something like that. Yeah. So evaluation teacher. Needs of evaluation. That's right. It's, it's similar. It's a synonym of, as your coworker, your classmate said. That is correct. that's basically it it's a synonym of evaluation specifically i'm sending you an image i'm gonna present it but i'm not sure if you will see it through the presentation right away i like that chart flow Just go it's a diagram, diagram a diagram exactly can you help me and go ahead and uh, design the different activities in the input see what is the result final okay. of the process mm -hmm. excellent thank you very much so this is like the idea generation um lujograma chart flow okay this is the idea generation chart flow so let me explain you this in a in a constructive way and uh giving you an example in 2001 i was studying at the camera de comercio industrial salvador and i was sent to work as a supervisor of a line of production okay Listen, on the line of production, there were like 50 ladies, 50 ladies, all day, right? Sewing, sewing. And I was like, I was like 21, let me think. That was 2002, that was 2002, I'm sorry. 2002, I was 21 years old or something. <laughs> and when they saw me, man, they were like, this kid is going to teach us how to do our job. Man, and they had this program called, um, well, the quality department, let's say. The quality department used to measure how good each piece 
was made, how good each piece was elaborated. But that was it. Now, there is a very important tool when you measure production and it's, and it's called in Spanish biorales. So every two hours, you measure how much, how many pieces a person produced. And in this example, how many operations one single operator can do in two hours. So I used to stop with my stopwatch. Everybody, what is a stopwatch? What's a stopwatch? Three, four, five. Chronometer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't say chronometer. It's a stopwatch, okay? Stopwatch. I used to go with my stopwatch and sit next to these ladies. And then stop, and then continue, and then stop. Mind this, mind this. I didn't used to measure the stops, the dead time. And that was the key for setting goals because you set the goal on how many processes this person makes. So this is the point. That's my evidence. My evidence, I gathered evidence that we needed to implement this um, quality measurement, let's say. And then I gather the evidence, taking the times, and determine, for example, that an, an operator could do, let's say, 20 operations per, per hour, so 40 operations in two hours. Then I used to use a formula and calculate and everything. So then I took all the evidence, we analyzed the evidence and determined, set a goal. We set a goal. Okay, and then with the quality department, with the purchasing department, managers, we brainstorm how will this contribute to the productivity of the company. Now, why did we need this? And this is the root cause. Why did we need to, to implement this new measurement? Well, because we needed to improve the production. So, we implemented it and we set a goal for the operators. Guess what happened? Um, the next steps for improvement were, were simply push the operators, talk to them, explain them in easy words that we needed to improve the production, train them, train them, giving them more time to go to the bathroom, Okay, because in two hours, these ladies used to go to the bathroom at least twice. So that was a problem. They used to drink a lot of water, which is fine, but they they were old. So the first thing that happened is that we replaced some personal for more productive personal and so on. Man, but the productivity was impacted a lot. It was a great job. And, and, and that's part of the administration. So we determined, again, we gathered the evidence, we analyzed how it worked. We came up together with ideas, okay, uh, of contributing factors. For example, one of the managers said, you know what, let's help them, educate them not to go to the bathroom so often. You know, let's give them more time on their break so they can go to the bathroom if they need, okay? Now, get to a root cause was the most difficult part. Why did we need this? It was difficult because money-wise it was clear, but human resource was always on, on the employee's side, right? And that's the argument. Okay, so that's basically it. That's how you identify needs because in the end, you must need a training and why you need it, what is going to be the result. Now, and that's the next step. What is the goal? What, you, what are you pursuing? What are you pursuing with that training? Devising training programming, that's another term that I just learned with you today. Devising training 
program is. Uh, this is like picturing. That's a synonym of picturing. That's basically, yeah, like picturing, doing a, a draw of what you want from the program. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, finally, you implement the training program, but most important, and I will always say this, um, evaluate the results. You may be wondering, have you ever wondered if we evaluate your English level in this program? What do you think? Can you answer that question? Does INSA4 evaluate your English level? I think they must do it. How do we do it? Uh, about um, with the classes, uh, the pronunciation, the questions that you made, mm -hmm. uh, the exams, the example, the tasks that are in the platform. I don't know, every aspect that uh, can uh, show how we are progressing in this program is measurable. Perfect, Gabriel, that's true. So, Basically, uh, devising is like elaborating, elaborating, like picturing how are you going to deliver the training part by part. Now, this is your turn to come up with something very simple. I'm not going to get you complicated, but you need to work in teams and identify training needs. For example, um, who works in accounting here? Raise your hand or put an emoji. Carla, I think she works on accounting or sort of. Yeah. Anna, Anna Selmi works in accounting. Okay, who works in sales? On sales, who works on sales? Sales? No, okay. And Gabriel said that he works with laws and commerce laws, contractual terms. Do you know about INCO terms, Gabriel? A little bit. Yeah, that could be a topic for training if you think they need it, you know, in, in the company, if your coworkers need it. Gabriela, what do you work on? Hi, uh, I work in logistics oh. and commercial. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, that's another one, INCO terms. INCO terms, the FOV, the FIV, I, I, I can't remember. FIV, five, oh, we used to say when we were in the university. Okay, Susanna, what do you do? Hi, I am administrative analyst in area commercial. Commercial area. And the commercial area, the same thing, yes. right? Okay, so think about it. What are your training needs? Let's try to be very realistic. What would you like to be trained on? Because I know that accountants need a refresher training every year, as we said before with Rosa. Every year, you must be up to date with the code of ethics, I think it's called. Is that right? The code of ethics. Anna Selmi, yeah. Is the code of ethics right for accountants? Yes, teacher. There mm -hmm. is a specific code of ethics for mm -hmm. the professional accountant. Yeah. This international code. It's an international code, and everybody needs yes. to stick to it. Stick to it every year. If you don't have that update. It's like Windows not having a patch, you know, an update, same thing, doesn't work very well. Okay, and so on, everybody has an area to improve. So let your classmates know what is your area of improvement. And let's stick to that, determine your training needs. And what do you think that your company could do? How will they do that? 
we we saw the training options, remember? Study in a case, role playing. Can your company send you to another country to be trained? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, I'll make you questions when we come back. So please discuss with your classmates and prepare something to tell the class. Okay, for example, me. Uh, as a teacher, I think I need more training on newer tools, you know, newer tools to use in the classroom to make my classes more participative. And um, so I, I need that training. I think that the company could hire the services of, of a university, you know, so they can train us on, on newer newer tools and so on. That's my perspective. They could do that with X university, you know. Just give me an idea, okay? Now, number two. Okay. How, how will this improve you? Okay, in my case, uh, it will have a great improvement, but the negative part, and this is something negative, and that's part of today's lesson plan. The negative or the disadvantage of this training need in my department is that it needs approval by InsaForb. So we need the approval of InsaForb to use a specific tool. Okay, for example, I am trained to use genuinely, genuinely, I am trained to use Google Sheets to use um, a dashboard from Google where all of you can participate, but we need the approval from InsaForb, okay? You will need to use a computer, not a cell phone to connect to the classes. So there's a lot of disadvantages. The disadvantage here is that not all of you are using computers. So think about it. What is the impact that it could have? If you are trained on that, is there any negative impact on others or in you, okay? Ok, para los que se han sentido un poco perdidos con lo que vamos a hacer, súper rápido, vamos a hablar de qué necesidades de entrenamiento tengo, por qué, cómo me va a afectar, para bien o para mal, recibir ese training, y cuáles son las, desavent las uh, desventajas que tengo al recibir ese training. Uh, les decía, por ejemplo, yo podría ocupar otras herramientas en esta clase, pero sé que muchos están en celular. Esas herramientas están diseñadas para computadoras. So, ok, tendría que pedir aprobación de, de, de InsaForp en mi ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues afectaría a los alumnos. ¿A quién afectarías tú? ¿Tiene alguna desventaja ser en, entrenado en eso que te falta a ti? Alguien podría decir, yo necesito ser entrenado en inglés. Y ya lo estoy haciendo, pero la desventaja es que mi empleador puede pensar que me le voy a ir ya cuando sepa inglés. ¿verdad? Entonces, ok. Algo negativo que pueda resultar de tu entrenamiento, ok. Good. Y de nuevo, señores, teamwork. Teamwork. Don't stay quiet. Just work with your classmates. I'm going to make the teams a little bit bigger. Ok. There we go. Let's go together. Let's work together. Let's go, let's go. Very nice. Very the super power girls. Yeah. <laughs> Only, girls. <laughs> Only girls plus teacher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, girls, what is the negative aspect related to the training? <gasps> Oh, 
How <gasps> dare you, Pamela? How <laughs> dare you? Pamela, <laughs> share with us. I'm on a diet. I'm on a diet, Pamela. Oh my God. And I have two. <laughs> <gasps> she has two done. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I hope you get fat. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you. I need it. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Primera vez que escucho una chica decir super good. Me llega. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Negative aspect at my at my at my workplace. I think that we need a training about inventory administ administration administration. Yeah, inventory administration or managing uh, manager. Uh -huh. manager. Uh -huh. um, inventory. Inventory yeah. management. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Inventory management. Yes, inventory management. Because we are at the warehouse and we need um, some tips about how to how to handle this and uh, how to do this. Um, we also use the FIFO, since the FIFO uh the FIFA what system no FIFA is not a system the FIFA technique yeah to to the rotation of the inventory but it's I think all the time we, we were talking with my boss and uh, uh, we we talk about the necessity that we had to to know more more about inventory the yeah. auxiliars the the boys that help us at the at the warehouse they need a training a training in, in the use of excel advanced excel because they need to do more charts many things in excel the, um, the energy that is made by air and the other. Mm -hmm. um, Gabriel, is my, where do you very work? Very interesting. Sorry. Where do you work? I work in a law firm uh, that it calls Romero Pineda y Asociados. Okay. Mm. I never heard. Really? Have you ever no. heard about Arias? Okay. So. Okay. My case, that what I need, uh, uh, maybe a training. Like I it's said. very specific. If you if you need that, then I think it's it's not common. Exactly. So uh, I have to read the law, and maybe with other lawyers that I have more experience in that kind of project than me, uh, uh, ask for the doubt that I have and and had the the feedback about the previous project that I they, that they had been participating. You need to reside in another country, maybe. Could be, Could be. but uh, to to that project, I think it's more specific because is going to have it's going to happen here in the Salvador. So. I need to read and search uh, everything related to the electricity projects. So I am, I am looking Excel. You are looking something very big. <laughs> Energy is is more complicated. Yeah, and, and interesting. I like. I feel. I feel. I feel little. With compare with that, no, it's not no. in Excel with that. No, don't say that. I like uh, complicated things, so eh, that's an, an, an a new project that I'm and I'm working right now. So I think that could be nice because 
right now with all, with all of this Bitcoin thing, uh, in order to create a Bitcoin, you need energy. So you have to look for another sources to create the energy, not the, the uh, common ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, today, no, yesterday I know, I knew that you can make, made, uh, or you can create energy from the trash. Oh, wow. Yeah. The, the gases, gases that the trash, uh, or whatever, you can convert that in energy. It's cool. Interesting. I don't know how about the same. Really, I really, I really like your team. So do you need training? Do you need training on how to use uh, trash and convert it into energy? No, I was tell, tell her, tell them that tell, I, telling them, telling them. Telling them, sorry, that I'm working in a new project mm -hmm. that um, is a company that is supposedly going to start a plant to create energy from the, from gas. From gas, but, from yeah, I, gas. I heard, no, I heard you, but my okay. point is, my point is from your position, uh -huh. whichever it is, um, do you need to be trained or at least informed on yeah. how, how they produce energy from trash? What I need to, what I need to know is, uh, know, learn the, the, the project and then, uh, study the law because they will need me to advise them how do they can or how the project can be more efficient mm -hmm. or... so yes so yes you need to know the procedure they follow exactly to transform from point it, a to point b because they can be violating the law and they don't know exactly right? basically know the business exactly you got the mm -hmm. idea. So that, that's the first question. So you need a training. Yes. Uh, who will train you? How will they train you? Will they invest any money on training you? Will they want to do it? Um, do you really need it? You see, all of these questions is what we're asking um, you to answer right now. So keep going. That's a great example, actually. That is a great example. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. <laughs> Complicated, too. Thank you. Uh, so yes, obviously I need I need in the in the group. Yes, yes. and the chat the group. Okay. okay, what training needs do I have? Um, for the first one, for example, in my workplace, I think uh, an area that we need to be training is in the customs issues because uh, laws change and we need to be updated. So. Okay, continue. Continue. And who will the company uh, try me? And will they want to do it? Uh, for example, I believe in the, the trying me is 
it could be better at the program design. Program design is a benefit for me, a benefit the company. And the, and the company, uh, it could be the, the benefits. And in other company, uh, Norway is a, a capacitator, a capacitation, the employees. For me, it's good a uh, 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 trying the the company uh, and the uh, the trying me. And will they want to do it? Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And in my opinion, uh, and my company, excuse me, the company, uh, and they, uh, in other options, and excuse me, in other, in other time, I remember uh, uh, I had a, uh, I trying the the program design and they and they uh, capacitate on the the design the the closing the for the ladies. Hello. Mm. I shared the, the picture the teacher sent. Mire que están estas preguntas y creo que son las que vamos a contestar. The training needs to. La organización objetivo estrategia. Este inicio a seguir. Esta reunión of the evening. Or this is a stream of pro programming, implementation of the programming evaluation. Of Mire, esta, esta, yo creo que estas son las preguntas que el teacher quiere que contestemos. Ay, ya se va a hablar y estas cosas eran, mire. Otra cosa también. Y dice: What training need, need do I have? What is is in I I was the company in Trimin is what to eat I was benefits in or this are I did we pass on around in on me in the busini. Pues con esto lo tenemos que hacer. Uh -huh. In my case, the, uh, I need a training in, for example, Microsoft Excel. In my in my work, need a uh, Excel. Uh -huh. okay. uh, let me see. Maybe more English. Mm -hmm. um, only that maybe in your case what training need do you have it's a capacitation in word and excel and informatica mm -hmm. 
En la otra es I host the company in four days. Una compañía. Oh, wow. I, I hold the company I think streaming for the what to eat. Maybe in my case, my in my company. Uh, Train me in the platform. Mm -hmm. We have a platform in my work. Uh, this, the name is uh, uh, Fruit University. In this platform, we have a, a option the the joining for join the different. Uh, programs or capacitation and uh, we we select the, the topic uh, we are uh, interesting and uh, other form the train me is uh, in, I don't know how do you say seminarios no sé cómo es. Seminario, no, no, no. En uh, training, uh, presencial training, uh, is en uh, other training en online. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, es de uh, métodos que mi compañía use. Uh -huh. My company is um, a, a platform is a conta is a word is Excel. La otra pregunta sería was the benefits o no what what they want to do it. Why the benefits and in all the this bar when I this maybe have a Okay, while we wait for your classmates, let's look at some little things um, that I heard from some of you. For example, you have to look for another resources and it should be, we have to look for other resources. So remember, another, singular, other, plural. Okay, again, another singular, other plural. We have to look for other resources. No, we say it, teacher. Other. Right, no plural, that's right. So another option, other options, another student, other students. Okay, be careful. Next, pronunciation, teacher sent to the group. The teacher sent it to the group. The group. Una palabra termina en B, acuérdense del burro de Shrek. Right, ya medito llegamos. <laughs> group. The group. Okay. Stop. Hmm. Map. 
stop group group the teacher send it to the group the teacher send it to the group um, la pronunciación de law are you studying law are you studying law are you studying law law do you like laws are you studying laws laws l o s l o okay singular l o plural l o s Law, loss. Why? So, yep. Sorry, you say group, group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Some some classmates were saying Groot. I am Groot. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm Groot. <laughs> yeah, I know it was funny, but I don't want to. I don't want to laugh. Yeah, it's just pronunciation, guys. You say group, the group. Yeah, group, the group. The group. Send it to the group, group. Okay. Uh, pronounce, uh, this this last question. Why have that options? Why have that options? Eh, y ojo, eh. Se, se nos está olvidando algo ahí. Ahí falta en la auxiliar cuando hago una pregunta. Do you have that option? Why do you have? Exacto. Ajá. Podría ser. Los compañeros quieren decir. Why do, do they have that option? Y era the those options. Si hablo en plural, those options. These options, está cerca. De manera general, cuando hablo de algo figurado y no lo tengo enfrente, um, no lo tengo cerca, so, lo que estamos hablando es these, these, that, those. This, this, that, those. ¿Se acuerdan de ese tema? Se llaman pronombres demostrativos. demostrativos. Ajá, pronombres. Uh -huh. Demonstrative pronouns. So, en, en el contexto de algo formal, un correo o un texto que estás enviando a alguien, por ejemplo, recibe estas flores de mi parte. Cuando trabajaba en 1-800 Flowers, en una página web donde compras ramos de flores, eh, siempre agregábamos, le preguntamos al cliente si quería una tarjetita agregada en el ramo de flores y en qué quería que dijese. ¿Te imaginas que labores a enviar un, a un funeral? My condolences. Mis, ni sé cómo decirlo en español, mis, mis columnenses, decía un, un compañero, lo escribió mal. Saludos de mi column, pues algo así, se leía prácticamente una tarjeta de funeral. Y era condolences, o sea, mis condolencias. Bueno, errores así se veían. Pero bueno, ahí aprendí esto. Tienes que poner receive this. Um, this. Why do they have these options? Y ese this. Ok. This. This. Similar a keys. Keys. Ojo. Es como, mm -hmm. extender, como hacer dos is. Ok. This. 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 Keys. Keys. Key. Yes. Ok. Si bien otros profesores les dicen, no es que se dice this. Se desconectan. Oye. Ok. Good. <ríe> no, no, no. Cuidado. Ok. No es this. No, es this. This. Ok. Good job, everybody. Los estuve observando súper bien. Vamos mejorando. Hay que practicar más, no dejar de, de practicar. Nos queda poco tiempo para llegar al avanzado 6 y ya pues terminar el, el programa y poder definitivamente mejorar. Este día me quedo con... Ta, 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 ta. Hmm. Who was with me yesterday? I don't remember. Was I with Gabriel? I was with Gabriel. No, with Gabriel. With me. Yes, teacher. Yeah, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Yeah, she's laughing like, no, yes, we're staying 10 minutes, please, okay? Okay, good night, guys. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. 
William, no, William Patricia Vázquez Santos. Ok. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. I'm present. Ok. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Ok, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Good night. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera was in here with us today. Ok. Enjoy your day off tomorrow. Have fun. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night. classmate. Good night. Bye. Enjoy your holiday. Bye -bye. Enjoy. Bye. 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 Me encanta una foto, una canción de Fito Paez que se llama Tumbas de la Gloria. Yes. Sí. Mire, primero, ah, contenta, así, contenta. Te voy wow. a hablar en el... Ok. <ríe> Mire, estoy con la boca así, que me comí un chile y no había cenado, entonces tenía mucha hambre. Y mi hijo nos compró comida mexicana. Mm. Me comí un chile. Mm. <ríe> Y así, es, así me siento. Bueno, mira, sí, primero. está feliz. No, ¿qué? No, estoy contenta de tenerlo de nuevo. ¿Qué de pasó tener... con el trabajo? Eh, ahora trabajo más que antes. Tengo tres empresas a cargo. Eh, administrativamente, ¿verdad? Administrativamente. Que, que ver contabilidad, que ver muchas cosas. O sea, muchas cosas y... Desde la y casa. Ayer, y ayer, por ejemplo, estaba con el jefe cuadrando las planillas de ahora y porque él se iba de viaje, entonces, créame que... Y al y, final terminaron descuadradas las planillas. <ríe> no, al final, él me dijo que hoy en la mañana se iba para Estados Unidos y que resolviera con la firma. Entonces... No, me refiero a que terminó descuadrada por ese nuevo decreto de que... Ah, sí, ah, eso es otra cosa. Uh -huh. Que tengo que ir el viernes a hacer unos cheques que me quedaron pendientes y ahora no sé cómo vamos a hacer. Cómo han es... cambiado las cosas, ¿verdad? Antes el pobre, el que lloraba ahora, el que tiene su empresita, el que va saliendo adelante, al que más le cuesta. Y... Igual, sí, las el... empresas grandes les cuesta también. Eso decimos con la compañera que vamos a ir el, el viernes ella y yo porque pues sí necesitamos avanzar en unas cosas, pero ahorita que la economía se está estabilizando y cómo nos cuesta que, que nos paguen las empresas porque no hay, no hay mucho trabajo, ¿verdad? Y salen con vacaciones. No. It is what it is. Hoy me gustó, le escuché hablar un poco y bien, bien, ok. Súper bien. A ver, eh, ¿qué, ¿qué ha identificado durante todo ese tiempo, Gloria, que, que, que usted diga, aquí es donde me trago? <risa> es que, es que, ¿cómo le digo? Al utilizar los, los verbos, uh -huh. ahí es donde me, me quedo así. Con... Let's see, let's see. Say, let's start from zero. Hi, my name is Rafael. What's your name? My name is Gloria. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you, Gloria. Me too. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Good, good. Okay. Uh, so, Gloria, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Who are you? Um, I'm fine, but um, I I I feel uh, every day very much um, tired. 
for for um, for my job. And, and what what do you do? Where do you work? I work in um, administration. The three the three empresas. Um, the companies. The companies. And I I work um I work in, in the accountant and I ¿cómo se dice revisar? I, I check I check the the employees uh, with the time for for work working for working. And, and I, I ordenar the agenda. Organize the agenda. Organize the agenda uh, for my my management and everything. Okay. What do you do in general? What do you do on a regular day? You know, like any day. Uh, what's what's your routine? The routine is um revise my 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 you check your email. Yes, mm -hmm. but. Um, but uh, mm, I had I had um, everything my lab my my tasks my, uh, my, my desk. tasks okay bien así es como tenemos que practicar cómo lo hago no pasa nada, solo tengo que recordar lo que ya vi. Entonces, eso es presente simple. Eh, veamos, decía, I fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Repeat, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. 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 I working in the accountant. Creo que queríamos decir, trabajo como contadora, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I work as an accountant. I work as an accountant. I work as an accountant. O más fácil aún, I'm an accountant. I'm an accountant. Repita, I'm an... I'm an accountant. Okay. <laughs> I'm an accountant. Pero cuando están unidas así las, las palabras, se puede como abreviar la pronunciación. I'm an accountant. I'm an accountant. I'm, 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 a, I'm a manager. I'm a manager. I'm a manager. I'm a teacher. I'm a supervisor. I say, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a. Okay. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer, for example. Okay. I check the employees with the time. I creo que quería decir. Uh, yo chequeo la planilla. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Sí. Okay. I check the payroll. I check the payroll. That's it. I check the payroll. I check okay. the payroll. Um, esas son palabras que debería de tener mi vocabulario relacionadas a mi trabajo ya. siempre so, empezamos desde cero si, si, si algo se me traba y los verbos no se me quedan empiece desde cero agarro un cuaderno en blanco de nuevo si no lo tiene y empiezo a hacer positivas, negativas preguntas, positivas, negativas preguntas, ocupe colores para los verbos para los complementos es decir, las palabras nuevas que yo no conozco las resalto y ya va a ver no se esfuerce, no se afane ni se estrese, simplemente hágalo tan sencillo da risa de verdad, le digo, estar haciendo esa tarea que parecerá niño de primer grado, pero se aprende se aprende, yo le digo tengo muchos alumnos que me dicen no hombre, si esto yo, a mi risa me va a hacerlo al principio, pero poco a poco se me fueron quedando y yo ni sé cómo, pero se me quedaron los vermos so, ahora eso es este los verbos, ¿verdad? Este, pasado, presente, futuro, o sea, es, es confuso. It's 
confused. Pensarlo, pensarlo tanto lo vuelve confuso. Entonces es mejor solo hacerlo. Solo hacerlo. Fíjese que en la iglesia nos dicen algo. Bueno, si no lo vas a hacer por fe, hazlo por obediencia nada más. Y uno iba, ay, está bueno. <risa> Hasta de mala gana puede haber salido. Y decía, decía un, un pastor, estaba viendo un video de un pastor en otra iglesia. Y decía, hablaba de ese tema y decía, es que yo, yo preferiría que todos ustedes vinieran sin ganas de venir a la iglesia. Porque el que viene por obligación, o sea, no, en cambio el que viene como así sin ganas es porque necesita estar aquí, no lo sabe realmente. Entonces, igual ¿no? el que quiere aprender va a hacer las cosas aunque no quiera, de mala gana y eventualmente la cosa va como que se le va agarrando sabor ya después, como cuando usted se mete una dieta, los primeros tres o cinco días de solo comer verduras por ejemplo, ya después el cuerpo le empieza a pedir uno y nombre no, ¿qué es esto? ¿esta torta con grasa? no, 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 <risa> sí. no yo siento que he aprendido un poquito un poquito es que esa es la cosa, Gloria. El listening ya lo tienen las dos. O sea, ya están con el listening. Entonces, ahora hay que, yo le aseguro que si usted agarra esto, su cerebro le va a decir, ah, no, hombre, si usted lo vimos. Mm -hmm. Así, poco a poco. Ok, o me va a decir, a mí la contabilidad jamás me gustó. Me encantó la matemática financiera, pero cuando se trataba de meter partidas de diario y todo eso, ay, no, así, qué pereza. <risa> Yo estudié ingeniería química. Sin embargo, sin embargo, trabajo en contabilidad y haciendo cosas administrativas. He trabajado recursos humanos, nada de ingeniería química, pero estudié ingeniería química. Es que el ingeniero se las ingenia. <risa> Eso sí. Eso es cierto. Bueno. Me, me da gusto, mucho, mucho gusto tenerlo de nuevo. Quiero pedirle públicamente disculpas por, ¿Por las cosas anteriores que tuvimos algún inconveniente. No Me se falta, preocupe. Pero muchísima falta. Eh, hubiésemos estado mejor a estas alturas. No, no diga eso. El, el hubiese no existe. Hay que agarrar ahorita y pues si queremos salir adelante, entonces se puede. Ánimo, ¿eh? Espero seguirla viendo y... Él me dijo que le dijera que lástima que estaba ahora que ella no está, pero que le extraño mucho. Michelle, <ríe> sí, él escribía a veces para saludarla también. Pero igual, no se preocupe, que estamos para servirle y pues, y no se estrese con el trabajo. Hágale, hágale como ese espacio al inglés como para desestresarse. Mírenlo como un hobby. Ok. Mucho. Bueno, <ríe> good night. Take care. Bye.